Well, hello world and welcome to Real Cooking at Home. Now, it's been quite some time since we've been here, but today I've got an awesome recipe for you. Authentic Cajun red beans and rice. Now, I grew up down around South Louisiana, South Mississippi, and the word authentic, when you talk about something like red beans and rice, is it's basically done by families. Different families have their own authentic recipes. And I just think that my family's recipe is absolutely fantastic. So this is authentic Cajun red beans and rice. Let me show you what we're gonna use. Right over here, I have got one large bell pepper that I've chopped up, a large onion chopped up. This is about three small ribs of celery that I've chopped up and about four cloves of garlic right here. Now, this is my red beans. And I wanted to tell y'all about these red beans. I soaked these beans overnight last night and rehydrated them. But here's the thing about red beans. If you can find a bag of camellia red beans, that's what I want you to use. I live in East Tennessee and I can't find camellia red beans here. But if I could, that's what I would use. But these are just some red beans that I got from Walmart. This is Koneka sausage. Now, if you can't find Koneka sausage, you can always use a store-bought andouille sausage. That would be very traditional, the andouille sausage. But my family is addicted to Koneka sausage, so that's what I use in my red bean sauce. Now here, I have got a quarter teaspoon of cayenne pepper, a half teaspoon of sage, one teaspoon of thyme, and one tablespoon of parsley flakes right here. Now right here, I have got my own homemade Cajun seasoning. That's about a teaspoon, that's all I've got left. So I'm gonna use that. I've got four bay leaves here. If you can find the large bay leaves, use two large bay leaves, but if you can only find the small ones, use about four. And then I've got two smoked ham hocks and some Tony Saturday seasoning and five cups of my homemade chicken stock right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start out by putting some olive oil in the bottom of my pan. And I'm gonna throw in my vegetables. And I'm gonna saute these down for about seven minutes until they get soft. And then we'll build this. Basically, when you start your red beans and rice, once you get this first couple of steps done, you can just basically walk away from it for a while. All right, now I've cooked my vegetables down. It's been about six minutes. So what I'm gonna do now is add in everything else. I've got my beans. As a matter of fact, before I do that, I'm gonna add in my seasonings, all those. I'm gonna put in my ham hocks. I'm gonna put in my Cajun seasonings. I'm gonna throw in my beans. Everything goes in. And now I'm gonna put in my chicken stock. Now y'all, this is my homemade chicken stock. And what I've done, I've got four cups of homemade stock and one cup of water. If you're using like canned stock or canned broth or something like that, you would wanna go ahead and use all five cups because I'm still gonna to have to add a little bit of liquid to this as it cooks down. But here you go. We've got all my seasonings in, my ham hocks. Now, the one thing you'll notice that I did not do is I didn't put any salt in this. You don't wanna put any salt in your beans while they're cooking because if you put salt in dry beans, it's gonna cause them not to cook properly and they'll still be hard. So you wanna wait to season this till the very end. Now, I'm gonna let this come up to a boil, reduce it down to a simmer, and it's gonna go for about two to two and a half hours just on a low simmer until all the beans get soft. Then we'll come back and put our sausage in it and finish it up. All right, we've been going for about two hours and 15 minutes. So my beans are just now getting tender. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna pull out these ham hocks. Now y'all, a while ago, when I was putting in all my seasonings, y'all didn't see me, but I put in the bay leaves too. So right now I'm gonna pull out these ham hocks and I'm doing this for a very specific reason. We'll get to that in just a few minutes. But I'm gonna go ahead and slide in my sausage. This is one pound of the sausage of your choice. Like I say, I like 
Koneka sausage, so I'm gonna go ahead and put that in there. Some great flavor. Also, I have got my Tony Saturies, and I'm gonna put in about a teaspoon, a teaspoon and a half. Just season it for right now, and I'm gonna throw in some flat leaf parsley that I had out in the garden because we hadn't really had a winter here, so we still had flat leaf parsley in the garden because we hadn't had much of a winter and it didn't kill it. And I love that. So once you've got your sausage in and your parsley and your seasonings, you can let this go for about 30 more minutes to cook down a little bit. And I'm fixing to put on a pot of rice. And once this goes for about 30 minutes, I want you to check it for seasoning and add some more tawny saturies to it. If you think it needs more salt, you can add a little bit of kosher salt or whatever. But once these ham hocks cool down, I'm gonna pick all the meat out of these and throw this ham hock meat back over in my red beans. And it's gonna be real close to eating. All right, y'all, everything cooked down. It's finally done. I've made my rice and I didn't have to go back and season it anymore. Everything was absolutely perfect in it. So here's what we've got. Authentic Cajun red beans and rice, y'all. I love the red beans, the sausage. Fixing to get me a taste and this is going to be hot. Mmm. Y'all, it's so good. Mmm. Now, once you get it made like this, you can garnish it with a few things. You can use some Tabasco sauce on top. You can use some Frank's Red Hot sauce on top. You can also splash on a little apple cider vinegar. Not too much. Just to enhance that flavor just a little bit. But it's all up to you from this point as to how you want to enjoy your red beans and rice. Now, I am going to link another channel here in this video. I have another channel called the It Makes Great Sense channel. That's because I am an independent Sensi consultant. And if you would like to, you can jump on over there and watch some of the videos from that channel. I'd love to have you all over there as well. Until next time, what I want you to do, get in the kitchen and cook. Oh, I forgot to tell y'all, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment in the comment box and share the video with someone that you think might like this recipe for red beans and rice as well. Bye.